Hey guys, it's Fox here, and today we're using a Frankie Stein doll to make a doll based off of the song Blue Madonna by Borns. Now, I would sample that song for you, however, I'm not really sure about your copyright laws, and I don't want to get in trouble, so it's probably best that you guys go look it up if you don't know it. Again, it's Blue Madonna by Borns. Anyways, to start out, I'm blushing her face, and I'm also going to be contouring with some blue and pink pastels. So as you can tell, I already have the eyes drawn out. Usually I kind of show you guys how I block out my dolls, but for this one, oh my god, you guys don't even know. Like, I think Libra must have cursed me after I didn't draw eyes on her because I literally took off a whole layer of Mr. Super Clear trying to get this girl's eyes right and I just, I could not do it. So I ended up just shutting off the camera and doing it on my own when I could just sit down and look at it. <laughs> it was so horrible. So as you can see, I am doing her eyebrows in black. Now usually I like to kind of match the hair color to the eyebrows or make the eyebrows just a little bit darker, a couple shades darker than the hair color. But for this one, black just seemed to work. I'm actually basing her loosely off of a very pretty statue of uh, our Lady of Sorrows that I saw. I'm putting the picture up here. Um, again, I don't really know copyright laws. This isn't my picture. I just found it off Google and I thought it was really super pretty. And so she's vaguely based on that in Blue Madonna. <laughs> At this point, I've sprayed her with another layer of Mr. Super Clear, and I'm going to be going in with my watercolor pencils one more time just to darken everything up. You know, make sure everything's as blue or as black or as white as I need them to be. And I'm also going to take a moment to kind of add a little detail here and there. This would be like the creases around her eyes. I'm adding in like the little pink spots in her eyes, and I'm also going to try and add in some eyelashes. You know, the bottom ones like I like to do. So this is one of my last layers of Mr. Super Clear. This is the one that I really try to make count. That means that I try to add depth and highlight. So I try to darken up the eyes. I try to darken up the lips. Try to add highlight underneath the eyebrows and on the cupid's bow, things like that. So as I said before, she's also based off of Our Lady of Sorrows, so I'm going to be adding these kind of teardrop shaped diamond things to her face, 
basically I'm just brushing on some Mod Podge on the back of them and then taking tweezers and placing them wherever I like on her cheeks. To give her a more human look, I've cut off the screws off of her neck and I'm also going to be covering up the staples on her neck by adding little diamonds the same way that I did the tears on her face, just Mod Podge and sticking them on. And I did this to her legs as well and I used diamonds and pearls because she's a classy lady. So I wanted to add like a halo to her, kind of like the art of Our Ladies of Sorrows had, um, but I didn't want to do the full halo, so basically I'm taking florist wire and I'm making kind of a headband for her. I'm going to be taking some little strips of florist wire to make the kind of spire things that come out. I'm sorry, I don't really know what they're called, but I, when you see it you'll probably understand what I mean. Once I've connected all the little pointy bits to my headband, I secured them with a piece of tape and I'm also going to go in and I'm going to paint them gold for that very cool halo effect. So guys, this is Blue Madonna. I really, really hope that you like her. Honestly, I had a little bit of trouble getting her started, but she ended up being super pretty. I think she's honestly one of my favorite dolls now. So I hope you like her as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!